I'm going to take you inside the super secret MMA training facility known only as the Fortress. working out. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> so you uh, spend a ton of time here, right? I heard yeah. you guys train like three times a day here. Yeah, two to three. Sometimes one, depending on how tired we were the day before. But. Does that give you a lot of time for personal life at all? I mean, do you get to spend time with your friends and family? Uh, I'm really lucky that my fiance Rochelle, she's always here with me because she's a, she's a boxer. So we spar together, we come, we train together. She trains people here out of this gym and I also train people out of this gym as well as the other two. And then I mop the mats, so yeah. probably here 10 hours a day. What do you guys do outside of the gym then? Do you just live normally or are you guys always, I mean, you guys live and breathe this? Pretty much a lot of this. Like, we don't have too much time for excess, like going partying and all that. I'm all done with that stuff. It's kind of boring to me now. But uh, what I usually do, go home, cook, eat. <laughs> A lot of barbecuing. Last last weekend, we all got together, went and played paintball, shot each other, stuff like that. Do you think it's worth it? All this hard work that you've put in. I mean, do you love this? I love it. It better be worth it. It'll pay dividends in the end. I just gotta keep working. Keep keep working. What exactly was it that got you interested? What got you started in it? Was, did you see something? Uh, I've just been fighting since I was a little kid. I used to get beat up a lot in school, in elementary school, and then in high school, and then I ended up just wanting to learn how to fight a little bit better. So I went, I met this, uh, Mr. Bilma Hood, he's my first sensei, and then it was just after that, fought within like two months of training, and then just kept fighting every month. Ten fights like my first year, and then... So the fight was always in you then, right? Yeah, always. <laughs> How do you like training at the Fortress? What is it like here? It's quite different. It's another world here. This place is, but in my opinion, this is the best training facility in the whole world. We've got the best coaches between Nick Aguala, Tony Pep for boxing, Connell McPhee for boxing. We've got black belt Bibiano Fernandez, he's five-time world champion. And we've got Paul Alon from Muay Thai, he's fought K1, all the big leagues, right? So we've got the best coaches. As you can see, we've got the best facility. And we've got a sick team. There's like 20 guys. All of them have a lot of pro experience, a lot of well-rounded guys. I don't think you can get any better than this. Are you guys close at all? We're very close. We're all very close. It's like family here. BBL, baby! Especially lately, the more we've all been training super hard, you just, you go through all this ruddy, grimy training. It's super hard. You're always sweating and almost dying beside your, bro your buddy, right? It bonds you. It brings you really close together, going through that hardship together. I Googled you before I met you. 
And I heard that you were a rapper. Is that true? I rap a little bit. Can I hear something? Some things before. Okay. Okay. I wrote it for Rob Bellick, our manager. His fight name's The Angel of Death. As I step in the ropes, I just take over the ring. The crowd's a bloodthirsty mass, and they have chosen a king, a warrior being, a gladiator, angel from hell. The cage is the domain where he is dangerous now. The screams of the crowd are driving fire into his veins. Look in the eyes of your opponent, and desire is pain. Desire your fame, better to be alive than in pain. It's revolution, we're always surviving a game with styles of main. Yeah, leaving you scarred like an apocalyptic battle between demons and gods. Breathing is hard, right in the heat of the battle. You heathens, a cattle angel, the death will easily tap you, smack you. We're here, we plan to stay and see you. will see this mother where my hand is raised. Your head is bad down, all shook and ashamed. You shouldn't have came, nigga. You should have stayed at your house. We'll break your teeth like you got sprayed in the mouth. We laying you out. Yeah, the solution is clear. It's easy, we the team to be producing your fear. It's time to stand up, the revolution is here. Haha, <laughs> 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 wow, that was so much. That's like the first verse. I don't want to spit the whole song, it's a little bit long. <laughs> Thank you so much no for problem, your time no and good problem. luck with everything that's going on. Thank you very much. I'm Steph Lee and this is Outside the Ring.